Radio Super. Grace Space. I'm Zeke. That is Dre. Yep. Hers. And we got another fire one for you guys uh, this week. <laughs> what, what the hell are you doing, bro? <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. Uh, I, I see that. Um, shoot. What am I? Oh, make sure you subscribe to become part of the tribe. Do us right. Hit that like and comment because you are rocking with the content now. Now. It's just us again this week, man. man. Choppity, chop, chop, choppity, chop, chop, chopping. Real quick, man. It is really interesting living in the desert. Okay. For all y'all that don't know, Uh we are in SoCal, Arizona at the moment, but we are in in the suburbs of Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah. And right now it's about 76, 77 degrees, something like that. Uh My guy out out here is sweating a little bit. I was when we was outside, yeah. Yeah, you sweating a little bit. Uh, you know what I mean? Glistening. I was, I, but it's really Am just. I still it's just so funny, dude. I was just. I'm, it's just because I'm, I'm beautiful. <laughs> uh huh. You glisten, you Come glitter. On, go on, cut it out. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do it. Uh, but anyways, uh, I just I just find it interesting, man. Because legit, a week ago, we were at freezing temperatures. Freezing. L- legit freezing temperatures. Do you want to build a snowman? Oh, okay. Hey, hey, everybody! It's springtime uh-huh. here. Like instantaneous, it's February, man. We shooting this in February, yeah. And all of a sudden, we in this. <laughs> I mean, it's just the and desert then, is and, so and then fascinating. Tonight, tonight about to be like thirty five. You right. know what I'm saying? <laughs> like legit, like it'll be five thirty, six o'clock. Be like, man, it's nice outside. Six thirty. <laughs> Where is my sweater? Right, you know what I mean? Right, right. Yeah, what we're just still, we're still in that part where it you need your sweater. When, this night, is yeah. a time of the year where you got to have backup switcheroo clothes. Like if you stepped out in shorts. Because you easily legit, right now. Legit, bro. And you're easily. going to be out past six thirty seven o'clock mm-hmm. and you're going to be outside. You need to make sure you got some sweatpants, pair of jeans, and a jacket. Because right. it's about to get whoop your button about mm-hmm. 10 minutes and i mean it's it's a 10 minute difference like of man it's beautiful right now to it's freezing you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying right do yeah. you want to build a snowman <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> come on uh, man let it go man. let it go oh man anyways yeah man uh I, you know what i'm switching it up on you sorry oh Switching it up on you. We had a conversation. Uh-huh. Last, we had a conversation last night. I really want to touch on this, dude. Okay, I really, really do because I I found it so fascinating. I found myself talking about it or talking about thinking about it. Okay, and I, I think it's interesting, and I think we should kind of have a conversation about it, and we could kind of take it in a different way because I don't want to rip off where you heard this from, and I don't know where you heard it from <clears throat> from another podcast or whatever. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and that was sign language mm. as a language. <clears throat> as a universal language. I find that so fascinating where you could really break down every wall man in 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 any society. Yeah, yeah. It, I because we chopped it up about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. so water, whatever the sign language is for water it's would be water it's the same. Every it wouldn't wouldn't matter whatever wouldn't matter. the sign is for water, it would be water, right? right. It, you don't need it's it's its own language. Like right. everybody can speak that language. Everybody can sign language. And I just was like, I really thought about that, man. And I was like, should we really go to something like that? Yeah. You so, know, as a society, like, and, and listen, man, it wouldn't just be where we're at here in the United States. Right. right? It would have to be done everywhere. It have to be and, done globally. And I don't think it would ever, it's, pie in the sky type of dream right for that to happen but i just found it fascinating that there could be one universal language yeah and like, sign language would be it so just for the, for the people mm-hmm. um basically what happened you know um 
is there's this couple that comes into my job, my regular nine to five, and <coughs> they uh they're deaf, and uh, one of them, the older couple, one of them has uh, either an implant or some type of uh, hearing aid, and I just I'm uh, they're super dope, and I'm always intri- I've always been intrigued by sign language, and it made me think about something that I had watched a while back. <coughs> and um, what it was was it was kind of like they were you know some some kids goofing off on like their little podcast or whatever. And one of the guys was like, "Man, if we all learn sign language, like the communication barrier would be over. Mm-hmm. Like we can go to any country, mm-hmm. we can go anywhere and talk to anybody." Right. And everybody was like, "Yo." And I'm watching, I'm like, yo, like legit, you could go anywhere Mm -hmm. if you made it a part of your curriculum and wherever you are, you know, Mm -hmm. let's say the, let's say the, the big, you know, you know, large parts of Asia, large parts of Europe, Africa, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Right. Where there's North definitely America, like South America, North, right? Yeah, right, all of it. All where there's yeah. where there's where there's a good amount of travel involved. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, think about it. Like if you're in, if you're in England and you go to Italy, you don't really need to learn it. I mean, it's great that you that you can learn other you know cultures languages, mm-hmm. but if we all learn sign language from the time we were kids till adults, and we were everybody was fluent in sign language. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bro, you can go anywhere. You go anywhere. We wouldn't have and, to really and, worry about it. And and there would be no there would be no mistranslation of what you're saying because it is the exact thing. Whether however you say it in your head when you're signing, right, is is that word to you. Right. But when I'm signing water, right, and I'm talking to the Hispanic guy, whether Colombian, Dominican, Mexican, mm-hmm. whatever, Puerto Rican, whatever, and his, in his head, he thinks Iowa, mm-hmm. but we know we, we talk about the same thing. We're, so, we're legit talking. We're about talking the same, about the hey, same thing. So the, it, exactly. Yeah. So there would be no mistranslation of whatever you're trying to say. So, mm-hmm. so the understanding would be a whole lot better, man. Because sometimes, especially in language, it's not just what you say, but how you say it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then you have words that like like puto. Mm-hmm. Which is a, a delicious nope. dessert in the Philippines. <laughs> and it's right. a bad, you know what I mean? A bad right. name mm-hmm. in the Hispanic language. So, right. yeah, d- dude, it's like, and, it, and it's almost, it, it is such a no brainer that you're like, wow. And, it, and the thing is, too, because you had brought up something just a little bit ago, it's actually quite possible because if you think about it, how many places is English being taught? throughout the world Mm -hmm. in a majority of places now. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, I mean, so many countries, that's Mm. their second language Mm -hmm. and they're learning it in school, Mm -hmm. in their primary schools. So it's super doable. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then you just have to make it like there's math. Mm -hmm. There's whatever your country, history, social studies, whatever, Mm -hmm. science, Mm -hmm. sign language. I I just I really thought about that last night, and I was like, "Can we get all on the same page on that?" Because that I, would be just, fire, I think it would be bro. really fascinating. Obviously, language would not go away. Now you can't go to Compton and do that. <laughs> 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 but you could though. They like, might think you stacking well, out there. You know what I'm saying? But legit, you, probably, you start. They be like, "Oh, that's, what's your set? What, what set you claim it?" <laughs> But legit, you could, though. You could, though. You know, because it it would be, again, we're going back to the water thing, right? Like, you could sign for water. It's just water. Right. Like, I need water. You know? Come on, man. And that, I just was, like, so caught up in that thought. After that, I thought about it for another hour after our conversation last night, and I just thought, because there's, there's too many languages, right? There's just so many. Th- there's just so many, and then so many variations. I, and then, well, of, and then I, that's what exactly what I was thinking of, right? Like, think of like South America for existence, Central and South America, where a lot of them 
speak a dialect of Spanish. Right. But it's all different. It's in all sense. different. You know, bro. like, yeah, do they have the same type of root word Dominican, in there? Dominican Spanish is different from Cuban Spanish. It's different from Puerto Rican Spanish. It's different from Mexican Spanish. Panamanian Spanish is, mm-hmm. is different. You know what I mean? The pronunciations of the words, the, the way they use some, some certain words. Um, and then, you know, you talk about, again, like I talked about the Philippines, where there is some Spanish dialect to their language. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And oh, then, there's and then a lot. Now yeah. roll it back. Now roll it back to Italy and the Italians, mm-hmm. right? And there's some Spanish dialect to their language, mm-hmm. and then obviously Spain itself, their language, but then their words are more. You know, that's their that's their language. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? They they just kept running up in people's hoods and taking people's <laughs> hoods and spreading their languages. So oh, yeah. you know what I mean? It's, and it's and it's just like even with traditional. Um, United Kingdom English compared to American English. Correct. You yes. know what I mean? There's just words that, like, they say rubbish and... Yeah, there's stuff that they use that we don't use. They say vice football. Versa. They say football and they hate that we say football and it's a, diff- it's a different right. thing. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Like, what the totally hell is this soccer? I, mean, you know what I, mean? <laughs> I just think it would be so fascinating if... Oh, man, it, it, it'd just be so cool to get all on the same page and do that. Yeah. You know, and then it really made me think about Man, I should just learn it anyways. Like, it can't be... I mean, I'm sure it would take some time to to get used to it, but I think it's got to be easier than learning Chinese Mandarin, right? Right. Like, could, I, I, I know for myself, dude, when I hear that particular languages, I'm like, man. And I know English is hard, too, for a lot of people because you have the same words, two, two, and two, T-O-O, T-O, T W L, you know what I mean. So and they're never used correctly when people. Well, use them. yeah, you know I mean? <laughs> never. But if you had sign language, you would know. Now, obviously, and this is this is I'm this is a I'm going to say this, and it's going to sound funny, but this is a serious thing. Obviously, people who are blind, you know what I mean. There's well, nothing you can really do. You can't do nothing about that. Right, right. And so. Because I know somebody, just, I know somebody first thing was like, but what about the blind people? <laughs> I get it. You know what I mean? Right. But then that's why language would never, it, it would it would have to stick around. Right. You, you would have to. Because, yes, now, you I have, have different have some, ailments. No, uh, no okay. Now, people. now, hold on. Now, now let me throw, let me throw a little curveball here. Okay. And I don't know this. I, I would, I'm going to, I'm going to look this up. We okay. might just quickly touch on it the next one. Braille, mm-hmm. is that, it has to be language spe- specific, right? I th- Dude, that's a very interesting question. You see what I'm so so if Braille is not, la- I'm just saying if it's not. Matter of fact, th- have that thought real quick. Think about that. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm saying if it's not language specific, now you got to introduce both. Uh, okay, so so that way blind people that way you just roll out a sheet. Yeah, but I like, really I think I think Braille is legit to whatever specific so I'm looking country that you're in. I, I think it's specific. Well, you know, and then but uh, some of these like say for instance <laughs> Mandarin again, right, or even Japanese writing, right? That's not necessarily. Those are more characters than they are the, like an alphabet. All right, cool. I'll just pull this up right now. Okay. Braille is, is the first thing I, I typed in. I said, is Braille? And it was like, is Braille universal? Okay. Are you hearing? You, you, yeah, you, yeah. you listening to me. <laughs> oh, it's always listening. You listening. Braille is not universal. No, not universal. In fact, there is a Braille language for many of the languages spoken today. Mm-hmm. While the move toward Braille uniformity, known as the unified English Braille, has led to many correspondences between the alphabets. The languages themselves are still distinct and unique. Okay. Mm. That's because that so, was because that because now I'm like, bro, we didn't damn near. But the, the, we didn't damn near kinda... cure communication at this point. <laughs> like if Braille is universal. <laughs> right. And we could all just like, oh, oh, you, you can't see. Oh, here. Yeah. Uh, but it does kind of suck, though. They said they wanted to go to an English-speaking, basically, Braille. Of right. course they would. Right. 
I mean, I'm not saying that it's right or wrong. I'm just saying, of course, it's like. Well, I'm uh, like, English. man, you, if they could, they can make it. They could make a uniform, and it's like water. Since we just keep bringing up water, water's like a little squiggly line. Know, right? like, oh, that's oh, water. Yeah, water. <laughs> you know what I mean? Legit though. Like, yeah, I'm clowning, I mean, I'm clowning, but I'm being serious though. Like, oh, that's water. I, yeah, you could do it. Uh, I there's guess a, there, there's got to be a way. Now, right? at this point, because look at our phones. For instance, for sure, right? Bro. How many emojis are there to convey a message? People mm-hmm. don't. I mean, kids these days don't necessarily have to type. Man, they'll send four emojis, and you're like, "Oh, they said that that that." You know, whatever. Right. You piece of shit. Right. <laughs> right. You got emoji for all that. You know. So, right. I, I'm sure you can. That somebody way smarter than me, and you know, would have to be like, okay, this would have to be universally look, bro, this. I know the technology nerds out there and we all are we're all technology mm. nerds but i know the ones that are sitting there like well dre you know you just can put a, a go on your google translator just mm. put the translator on your, i get that sometimes you don't be having your phone man this is the, i know y'all i know y'all don't i know y'all don't remember we ain't always have this man <laughs> that's true you know what i'm saying and sometimes there be situation man you just never know sometimes Sometimes you ain't your signal. Maybe your apps don't work, man. Things it's technology. Like it, it, mm-hmm. it can definitely malfunction at any point. It would be definitely a saver if something happened to the earth in the sense of like all communication went down. Right. And then it, what would be sign language would be a, at least a universal thing that you can be like, okay, now we could get on a boat and go. You know, because right. now we don't have electricity, so we can't. But, you know, then, but even with like a translator, bro, like the the mistranslation and all that. Like, well, it again, could definitely like you could say something and then it goes whatever, 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 whatever. And but again, most languages and most people in different cultures in language have slang, have slang. Everybody has slang, right? Right, so you come over here. We're we're mad talking slang Big stuff, slang. right? Yeah, and even you know in Mexico, a lot of slang is happening, right? And it's so it's Spanish, but if you go to Spain, they're like, no, that's improper, right? You know, or you know, whatever, whatever right. right? So it's all this slang stuff that you can, yes, Google Translate is going to give you the proper way the, to say the something, exact, yeah. But it's not going to be what maybe you're trying to convey to come across. Exactly. Whereas, if you did sign language, there is no such. There wouldn't be a thing as, as slang. It would just be kind of a direct language where you would just be like, you know, and get your point across. Right. What you need to, right? We don't need to have. The thing is, I want to get across to about this is you don't have to have like this mass conversations with sign language you just have to get like a really basic understanding i don't know i just find it a very interesting that that it could be a universal language is sign language okay now i'll pop this up Uh oh are we wrong do we speak too soon what you got what you reading Sign language is not universal. No? No. Because I'm like, man, are we talking to going in on this? And this? The problem is, is that there's been different variations throughout the years. So, while a lot of it was very universal, mm-hmm. things like letters, stuff like that. Okay, so that I understand, right? Because I remember even in school... Uh, you know, you learn, oh, yeah, this is A, this is B, you know, and you, there are certain things. Okay. But, again, you can still get away from that, though. You don't have to use letters to communicate, right? Again, I, I know we keep using waters, but water, oh, good. you know, is going to be a specific sign. It's just going to be this is water, you know? So... Yes, I get the specific letters when you're trying to spell something out that maybe doesn't have a sign associated mm-hmm. with it, but it doesn't. I don't. To me, it doesn't have to get that complicated. So okay, so here I'm just I'm just diving yeah, into yeah. it so we can for sure really chop it. So American Sign Language is the most universal at okay. this point. 
Okay. Um, it's a, it's used obviously in uh, U.S. and Canada, mm-hmm. parts of Mexico, Africa, and Asia. So that is the most. Now there's a British sign language as well as a oh, Spanish. Oh come on, Brits, don't do that shit. As, 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 <laughs> What are we doing here, man? You guys are English, too. Yeah. You uh, might as well as, just keep it universal. They're not, they're not American, though. You know how that goes. Well, I mean, um, <laughs> they don't have to be American, but, man, uh, a- you said Asia and Africa, like the two biggest continents on this planet yeah, are using you, it? Yeah, and um, then there's also a Spanish sign language, which is used in parts, though, not, you know what I mean? So there may be some translation Lost, well, but just, but if you but it, no 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 but legit though if you if you taught there is a lot of it that's the same though where object right. is you know what I mean well I'm, I mean, that's what I'm saying there there's got it, it would be a lot easier are, yeah because because it, it was adapted from the French sign language and then that just kind of spread mm-hmm. and then everybody's had their adaptations of that I, I, and I'm sure I, I, we're human we're gonna adapt again we we're gotta, gonna make we sign language it, yeah. <laughs> We're going to make side like, man, I don't want to do, do, do this no more. I'm tired of doing this. My fingers be hurting when I'm doing this. I'm uh, doing this now. Oh, okay, cool. R- r- you know what? Real quick, man. If, you know, um, before we get out of here, man, is, and this is kind of a, I, I know we've done this as a kids and stuff like that, is would you rather be deaf <laughs> or blind? Oh, and that's man. that's a it's a really tough question, man. Because no. obviously there are beautiful things to see, right? I think Just, I'd rather be blind, bro. And obviously there are beautiful things to hear. Now, again, you you would rather be you think you'd rather be blind? Yeah, I think it, so. Like if, if I think I, I think I think there's so much in my life that has to do with sound, and it's always been that way. That, like, there's so many ways to get around being blind. Like, I, I, if you think about it, there's so many things that have been set up for blind people. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I don't, I definitely don't want to speak out of turn here because I'm not talking from personal experience. So, right, right, right. Please not get offended by anything that I'm saying. And be like, no, no, you don't know. Like, I, of course, not having a sense is going to be difficult no matter what. Right. But there's so many things that, you can use as aids mm-hmm. where, you know, to, to help you out through whatever your day to day life. You know what I mean? There's, there's dogs, there's, there's canes, there's, um, there's obviously procedures that can be done as well. Um, different things like that. Right. Well, and even if walking down the street, even the street signs will make like, you know, the, the sounds, the sounds and right. Stuff like that. And so I, so much of my life is sound and how, and always has been that it would be, extremely difficult for me not to be able to like listen to music, mm-hmm. listen to the environment. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that would be crazy. Cause man, I mean, legit, like, and, and, and I don't want, like, I don't, like, I don't want anything to come off offensive. Like, but cause this, it, it might not be the same, but what I'm saying is if you're in a dark room for long enough, right. Mm-hmm. And it's legit dark. And you know your surroundings. Like if you're in your, if you wake up and you're in your bedroom and it's pitch freaking black, you can't see anything. You know where everything's at. Yeah. You can get around your, except for when you stub your toe on the edge of the bedroom. Well, yeah, but that's, if, that's I'm if, just playing. That's even, that's even if you coming in hot. You know what I mean? Like you know you got about four steps yeah, before yeah. that bed comes. So at that third step, you start you start twinkling. You know what I mean? You start happy feet. You're like, ah, oh. yeah. You know, and, and so. Yeah, you yeah. pretty much know how to get around. So, so I I agree with you. Um, again, this is hypothetical. I'm not saying you know. Uh, and again, no offense to anybody who's who's blind. Um, ah, hell no. Or or deaf for that matter. Um, but I would rather be. I think I'd rather be blind. And and my big thing is that I agree 100 percent with you because our lives, and I'm talking about you and me in particular. Is so rooted in music. Mm-hmm. So for me not to hear music ever again would really bum me out. Now, could I deal with it? You would have to, right? To survive, of course, right? But 
you know, if you had a gun pointed to your head, you're going to lose one. I would lose my sight because, and then this is the other side of it for me. The brain is so powerful Mm -hmm. that again, you, you turn off all the lights Mm -hmm. or your brain will create images, images for Mm -hmm. you anyways. Right. And I, I think it's fascinating and like people who don't even see, Right when well, they were when they were born, yeah. Like what's the, the color red look like? Mm-hmm. You know, or you know, stuff like that. And you're, that's an interesting question, right? But their brain knows what red looks like, right? Even though they never seen red before, right? So the brain is a very powerful tool that exactly. will give you the images that you need. Like, would you right? rather listen to a movie or watch a movie? I'd rather listen to it. Like, there's so much that's lost without the sound because, again, your brain. Well, it, interpret it, 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 what's going exactly. on on screen. It might not be the same. It, 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 it might be a totally different movie. But it head. might be really good in here. it might be fire. Yeah, because if something is written well, right. you don't necessarily need all the images, flashy images for us dummies, you right. know, <laughs> to right. see something flashy. You no. are like, oh, that's crazy. Uh-huh. You know, or just to hear, like, say you're watching Jurassic Park or, you know, and you're just listening to it. And right. all the, the sounds and the, you know, and right. just to your brain would just go nuts with it, that. It, you it, know it, what it, I mean? It, yeah. So I think that's the other side of that. Right. right? And again, no offense to anybody who is or whatever, but I mean, no. I just, I, I just hearing stuff. Yeah. I, I just, I like hearing things. And man. then like in my head, I'm like, if I'm blind. I'm definitely turning into like Daredevil or something, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm turning my hearing like supersonic. Like I gotta I'm putting the mask on. I, uh, I can actually see you now. You know what I mean? They call me they call man, me Dre Murdoch out here. Real you know quick, what I mean? man. Did you ever see that kid, man? Um, this was a while ago. He would uh, click like a bat. Like this is a legit thing. Like he was blind, mm-hmm. and he would click like a bat. He learned how to. Like that, so he can hear what stuff was bouncing off. Fascinating, dude. He figured out it was a kid too, and of course, the kid would figure out how to do that, right? Because they were, and he would play basketball, and he would knew where the basket was. He was a great basketball player. No, I did not know that. I'm gonna look that up. Oh, look it up, man. It's fascinating. Anybody like look it up? This is probably five to ten years ago okay. too that it, this uh, that I saw this. And it was just really fascinating. Somebody figured out how to use, because, you know, bats are blind. What do they use? They do the same thing. They use sound. Right. So they don't hit anything. Right. And he figured out how to use sound so he can do certain things. Knew where stuff was in the room, how it bounced off. Obviously, if one sense is gone, everything else is going to be heightened. And that echolocation. Yeah, man. That echolocation would be crazy, bro. Could you imagine what you would hear and you're like, like just say right now like blind right it would take some time right because be devastated or whatever but what you would hear and you'd be like what is that mm-hmm. noise mm-hmm. i'm and already you would, like that you'd, <laughs> you'd be so dead all that so man dead. you'd be like what is that i've never heard that before man, you know that's what and that's what i'm saying what i would do is i would go get a costume and now i'm the new daredevil bro <laughs> I would love you to know see you. I'd love to see you as Daredevil. I'm the dude. hood Daredevil. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I I'll be the it, hood bro. Daredevil, it, man. man. I'm telling you, man. Daredevil. I train. By the way, Daredevil's a, such a cool character. Walk the way, down the dude. stairs, just kicking everybody's ass. You know what I mean? Just <laughs> bat, 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 bat. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, the, and the and not the Ben Affleck Daredevil either. The uh, the one the Netflix series. The Netflix. Series. Yeah, that was awesome, man. That was yeah. really well done, man. But, yeah, man. Dre Murdoch. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Murdoch. Yep. Podcaster at law. <laughs> you heard me? I don't even know what that is, but you know, it's, 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 it's a job. It's a job. I have, I have a job of some sort. You know oh, man. But anyways, dude, I just, I I had to bring that up. I have here, a cold cause... ass cane, too. I'm thinking about it. I'm, I'm really thinking about it. You know what I mean? I have a cold ass cane, bro. I'll be yeah. killing it. You know what I mean? Uh, you know? With the cane... A two like, buttons, something pop my my knee, my knee just gonna say, Oh man, you know, just pop out. Sword, you know what I mean? <laughs> Pat, you know, yeah, I'm done. Yeah, Full ninja. I get it, man. Trey Murdoch. I, I, yeah, I like it. Podcaster at law. <laughs> <Trey Murdoch. laughs> 
Oh, I love it, man. Oh, man. Anyways, I just wanted to bring that up, man. I just yeah. thought it'd be kind of interesting yeah, to talk yeah, about, topic, man. Something man. a little different. So, anyways, you guys stay safe. You guys stay positive out there. Let us know what you guys think down in the comments below. And as always, this is the Gray Space. Peace. Peace.